rock and roll time capsule. Elvis is in the building and we could be back to the 50s in Memphis, Tennessee. But actually, we're in Wickford, Essex, at a garden centre. So, get rhythm with Billy, take one. Where Dean Amos has built his authentic vintage recording studio. A little shy boy, he never gets so down, but he's got the dirtiest job in town. We're in the live room here and the, uh, the soundboard is the uh, same soundboard as they would have used in the 1950s in all their recording studios. Yes. Mics, mixers and recording equipment he salvaged so from the this? US. This is uh, what they call an Ampex 350, which is a 1950s, mid-50s tape recorder. And it was the same model that Sam Phillips used here at Sun Records to record Elvis Presley on. When you get the blues, come on, get a room. But it's not a museum. I mean, this stuff all works. Everything works, yeah. I won't have anything here that doesn't work. Everything works. Now, what he didn't know when he was carefully repairing this kit and creating the right 50s ambience was that down the road in South End, another Essex boy had just acquired the worldwide rights to the Sun Records songs. He's putting on a show at the South End Cliffs Pavilion with these boys singing the hits of Elvis and Johnny Cash. They're here today to record an accompanying soundtrack. <laughs> it's going to be released on the Sun Records label for the guys here to have the opportunity to record their stuff on that label. Sun was out before Motown. Sun was out before Stax. Sun was out before Atlantic. So you've got all the other labels to follow, but the original, the start of rock and roll, was where Sun was. Which explains the obsession to create a studio like it 4,000 miles away in Essex and find again that 50s sound. Wendy Harrell, BBC London News.